Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria told Buhari to investigate Governor Aerofi. All right, welcome back to Letters Breeze. In case you've not subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe. Today we are talking about the Human Rights Writers Association who told Buhari to investigate Aerofi due to the killings going on in Kaduna as the governor of Kaduna State, I think he should be able since to stop the killings in his state. All right, I think his state should concern him, which he has been, he is supposed to be fighting for since. Well, how can this kind of man come out and, and say he wants to become the president of Nigeria? That means when he becomes the president, he, will, he can ignore people why they are killing nigerians all right so let's read human rights writers association has called on the president muhammad buhari government to investigate erofi the governor of kaduna state according to the human rights association of nigeria erofi should be compelled to produce the killers of the innocent nigerians in southern kaduna since he has been able to identify them and their locations Recall that back in 2016, Aerofi admitted to identifying and compensating those causing the crisis in Southern Kaduna, saying that there were people from the neighboring countries of Nigeria, Chad, Chad, Cameroon, Mali, and Senegal. Human Rights Association of Nigeria, in a statement signed by the by its national coordinator Emmanuel Ongubiko and made available to us on Sunday, said it was much concerned that what is going on in the southern part of the state is an eto religious cleansing by vicious henchmen in a way that was sickening and repulsive to civil civilization. He said he said the most pragmatic way to finding a solution and stop the mass killers before they strike again is to fish out the armed Fulani herdsmen during the killings by investigating Aerofi, who allegedly and reportedly admitted, admitted paying off some identified killers. So you don't see as it happen. In 2016, Aerofi been done admitting in. They identify, see, Ingo compensate people where they kill those people for Southern Kaduna. See when this thing started 2016 until now, they have not been able to be solved, which is very bad. As the governor of the state, what you care, you don't really care about the life of your state people, you don't really care about the, of the, the life of your subjects, you just let them be dying like foul. All right. So I think he should try and curtail the killings in that state. All right, let's read. Human Rights Association of Nigeria further noted that the utterances of Erofi in, in where he admitted paying off some killers against men responsible for the violence and, the compiling, and that compiling a list of people calling for self-defense in Southern Kaduna are very shocking. Human Rights Association of Nigeria wondered why the criminals were compensated instead of facing the law, adding that the governor has not done anything to help the victims since he appeased the killers with the money with money. You can see, you can see, you can see the kind of Nigeria you're living in. People that are killing people, they are compensating them. But people who die, people that their family die, people that lost their life, people that lost their properties in such in such in such a disaster we are not compensated even till date those people were compensated were compiled and compensated homo what kind of country is this which which in which in be this country self is this a country eh? is this a country a country where a criminal will be compensated and someone and someone who is in charge as in someone who is a victim is not compensated even even after compensating the criminals they keep killing eh? like how are you comfortable with that i don't understand do they use these people for money ritual do they 
send people to go and kill for them to gain more powers i don't understand because this kind of thing is something uh, the government is supposed to look into and see what actually the problem was the problem eh? what is, where is this country even since i know this country right from 1990 when i was 1990 something when i was born this country has been a bad country till date i don't know what is really wrong did we offend, did we offend anybody i don't know so the continuous assault of the southern kaduna people has become highly suspicious and alarming there is no doubt that the victims of this incessant assault are indigenous of kaduna state who are mostly christians the group insisted you see they say the mostly victims the victims they mostly have are christians you understand they are all, 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 always christians so I don't know. The governor should look into the matter. Now, uh, uh, some 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 politicians in the country there, in the state there, they are dying. What what's really going on? So I think Erofai should look for a way. I think he ahead is going for. He's trying to contest for two thousand and twenty three. Maybe uh, join hands with someone and contest for two thousand and twenty three presidential uh, candidate, but. Mm-hmm. What kind of what kind of president is he going to be, or what kind of vice president is he going to represent? So this kind of thing shouldn't be happening in Nigeria at this time. So they should try and know what to do so that our people will not be dying in vain. Let's let let let's just face the hunger. Let's face the hunger, not the herdsmen. Let's face the hunger not the herdsmen all right in case you've not subscribed to my youtube channel we remain our humble self latest breeds do well to subscribe thanks